Hey YouTube, this is Rescue Music from Park Fan 62. Carowinds. Um, if you don't know what Carowinds is, it's in Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, so depending on where you're from, it's going to vary on how long it takes you to get there. Now, first, before I talk about the park experience, um, there are quite a few hotels around the park. There's one near the park, um, which is part of park property. And then there's two or three across the street from it. Um, so, um, they're around the cheaper hotels. So, um, there's that. Now, <clears throat> uh, par Carowinds Park Experience. It's around, I think, 20 or $25 to park now please note this <clears throat> they have gone cashless for this year uh they started that in august of last year so uh they accept credit cards debit cards apple pay android pay or samsung pay and but if you're like me and still use cash um what you can do actually is um use um they have a like cash the card thing that you can use um that is good for most food and merchandise stands games or a separate thing now rides now they have a good selection of rides um the biggest ride that they're known for is fury 325 um which is a great ride um, then other rides that they're known for is Intimidator 305, um, Nighthawk, um, Hurler, and many others. Now, um, depending on the day you go and stuff, you probably want to get a Fast Pass. Um, and depending on the day as well, those are going to vary in price, especially depending on when you go. Because depending on the, the time of year you go and the day of the week, they they are going to vary in price. Um, I will put roughly what they're going for right now uh, when I and when I and I'll put it down below. Um, now, please note this for certain attractions. Um, I th I think um, Intimidator three hundred five. Um, Fury 325 and a few others, you you will need a locker. Um, I think it's like ten or fifteen dollars is the whole day. Uh, so you can just go from locker to locker. Um food and stuff. Now, as of this recording, they have only roughly two, maybe three um sit-down restaurants. Um that you can choose from, uh, and those are Harmony Hall, right in the front near um, Intimidator, and then the other one, sort of near the county fair section, is um, Blue Ridge Country Kitchen. Um, Harmony Hall is sort of like a food court style place where you can get stuff like burgers, pizza, barbecue, chicken tenders stuff like that uh blue ridge country kitchen is sort of the same but um uh, instead of you just, you don't have to deal with like a stage with music it's basically the only difference now blue ridge does is more in the line of like pizza chicken tenders burgers um breadsticks i believe and a few other things like that um now the, all the other stands they have in the park are um, they do have a Subway, I believe. Um, they do have a Chick-fil-A. They do have a Panda Express. Um, I'm probably missing one in there, but, um, uh, those are mostly the type where you go up, you go in like a small building, you order, you get your food, you go out and you sit on like a table or something. So... There's that. Um, now, as far as like 
um, food and drink plans, uh, those will vary depending on what you will need or what you order. Uh, now, they do sell Dippin' Dots um, uh, around the park. Those vary in price. Um, all those vary, those will vary by day depending on what stand is open. Now, they do have a water park attached to the park, except it's very small for what you get. It's just mostly like a few slides and a few other things like that. Um, it's not very impressive. Um, now, how many days do you need there? Now, this is going to depend on what you're wanting to do there. Um... If you want the whole experience, um, I suggest at least two days. If you're going to go just for certain rides only and then leave, I say half a day to a day. So it just depends on how long you need. Um, now, any tips? Uh, first, wear your walking shoes because some parts do get decently hilly. Um, especially in the summer months, it does get very hot there, so you will need to wear light clothing just because of how hot it gets. Um, unfortunately, as far as I'm aware, they don't have, um, like, sunscreen stations, so you have to buy your own sunscreen. Um, but other than that, um, if you have anything that I missed, put in the comments below. Make sure they are family friendly.